As you guys know, I am a big fan of jewelry. The bigger, the better. The more over the top, crazy the piece, the more I love it. But I am so guilty of just putting all my jewelry in a box where it all gets tangled. It's a big old mess. I don't even know half of the stuff I have. It's a problem. So you know what? Today I'm taking a little bit of my own advice and I'm getting organized. First up, this super chic three-tiered jewelry tray. Now I love this, it's so easy, and here's what you need. Dishes in three different sizes, and two small glasses, or in this case, shot glasses. Primer, two colors of your choice of spray paint, and of course, industrial strength glue. I went to the thrift store, picked up a couple of dishes, and a couple of, these are actually shot glasses, and they were five bucks. They don't have to match. That's kind of the fun of it. So, let's get this party started. I used a paint and a primer in one can. It's a two for one, and since I'm painting it white, it worked out perfectly. It's super important to use primer because that's gonna help the real color stick really well to the glass and the ceramic. So our plates and our little shot glasses are dried. They look fabulous. And now it is time to just build our three-tiered dish. You wanna do your best to find the center of the plate because that is where your glass is gonna go. I just eyeball it, but you can get crazy and measure it if you want to. But I promise it looks great if you just eyeball it. My next project is a bracelet holder. Now this is awesome because you probably already have all of this stuff at home. Here's what you need. A candlestick, the inside of a paper towel roll, the cardboard part, some spray paint, and of course, industrial strength glue. I love this project because I am a big recycler and normally I would just recycle the inside of this paper towel roll, but now I can upcycle it. Now that our candlestick and our cardboard tube is dry, we're just gonna glue them together. It's that simple. I love using this industrial strength glue. It's awesome for a project like this. My favorite is E6000. Lastly, it is time to get our earrings in place, in the right place. And I'm gonna show you how with this really cute little farmhousey, shabby chic earring holder. Here's what you need. Chicken wire, pliers, a staple gun, and a cute old frame. All you're gonna do is pop out the print because we don't need it. Hopefully, it wasn't valuable. Turns out chicken wire isn't just for the farm anymore. Next, you're gonna staple the chicken wire down. Trim up the sides and voila! so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below if there's anything you want me to DIY. I will see you guys next time. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and hang out with me on social media. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!